some big and nice surprises for me in my Adobe stock earnings last month. Let's dive in and take a look. My total earnings for Adobe stock in September 2023 were $3,948. Now, this is a much bigger total than normal because I had two bonuses in September. The first was the Firefly AI training fee that we all received for September. The amount I earned from this bonus was $1,545, so not bad. And the other bonus I received in September was about $210 for images that I had nominated and were selected for the free collection. Now, if you remember a few months ago, we were all talking about nominating some of our images uh, that would, if accepted in the collection, that meant they would make it to the free collection and be removed from having the ability to earn you commissions moving forward for the next year. You earn $5 up front for that. I had nominated a couple hundred images. I selected ones that were not downloaded much at all over the past few years. And unfortunately, they took just the ones that had of that group been downloaded the most time. So they selected about 42 images from the couple hundred I nominated and paid me about $210. So not bad. I'll take it. I don't think these would have earned much for me in the next year. Like I said, they were downloaded just a few times recently. But for comparing this total for September to August and to last year, which I always like to do, I'm going to back out these two bonuses from the total. So I'm left with $2,193 in normal earnings for the month. And this compares favorably to August when I earned $1,895. So roughly $300 higher, which is a nice boost. I think it's a lot due to the coming out of the summer slump and also growing my portfolio a bit over the past month. So it's a nice amount of growth. I'll take that. And I look back, I like to look a couple months back. I earned $1,954 in July. July was up a little bit from August, but now I'm gaining on July again, a summer month. So I would expect September to be higher and I'm happy with that. I also like to look at a year ago to see how am I progressing compared to one year ago at this point. In September of last year, I earned $1,959, so about uh, $200 higher. I'll take that. That's nice. Uh, and then looking at August was $1,649 last year and in July, $1,854. So my overall trend line here is good. I'm, I'm encouraged by this. I also like to look at the total number of downloads that I had in each month. In September of 2023, my total was 1,640, which somehow was down on, on August's total of 1,720. So even though my earnings were higher in September, my downloads were lower. And what this tells me is I had a lot more video downloads. You earn much more per download and video than you do for images. So I know I had a healthy number of downloads of videos and that accounted for a lot of that increase in earnings, even though my total downloads were lower. Looking at July, 1,583, so I'm higher in the download count compared to July, up in September by roughly 60 or so downloads. Looking at one year ago, 1,882 for September, so my September count for 2023, again, pretty lower, about 200 downloads lower than a year ago, but my total earnings were more than $200 higher than a year ago. Again, I think video downloads really helped me there. So year to date, where do I stand? I'm at $18,018 .018 for Adobe stock from January through September. Compared to one year ago at the same point, I was at $17,643 for the same point in the year. So about $500 difference. I will take that. And I'm encouraged to have a good rest of 2023 based on what I'm seeing. Each month, I also like to sum up for you my top themes that performed well for me in the past month. And here are my top 10 sellers for the month of September. Diversity, as it has been for the past several months, really the past year, has been my top seller. Lots of good downloads here. I have a number of different images celebrating diversity, equity, and inclusion in workplaces and other organizations. Recognition was my number two performer for September. It's one that traditionally performs well for me. This is giving people appreciation for a job well done. Culture, similar to diversity, but celebrating somebody's background, whether it's ethnicity, race, or just general background. A blank check was my number four performer. This is one always showing up in my top 10. I've got a few different variations on an illustration of a check, just not showing any actual account numbers. Number five is a crumpled piece of paper. I have a couple different versions of this. One is a lined piece of paper that's like a school notebook paper. Another is just a blank sheet of paper. 
Number six, the idea of practice or preparation, getting ready for a big event at work or at school or some other big life event. Number seven, belonging. Similar to diversity, equity, inclusion, belonging is a big theme for businesses, welcoming new employees, making people of different backgrounds feel like they are welcome. Number eight, an event, a big party or other celebration that a lot of people can get together and enjoy each other's company and celebrate. Number nine, curiosity, becoming interesting in something, wanting to dive in and research and learn more. And 10, new location, whether it's a business or a family, moving to a new area and setting up shop in a new place. So those are my top 10 selling themes for the month of September. You can see more of these in my newsletter if you want to sign up. The link is below. Every month I'll send you some new information on making more money in the microstock. Also sign up for this channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Let me know how your September went and I'll see you soon. 